It's September 10th, 2023. I'm at the Georgia Southern University Armstrong campus. As you can see, this is the section where they have their three paw paw trees. And I have other videos on those, but today we're gonna look at these pine trees, cause... <laughs> and there's lots of loud cars, so... Bear with me. But I, I have no idea how to identify pine trees, but some helpful people on iNaturalist just helped me get an identification for this one, and this one, and all the other ones around here based on the pine cones. So this one here, and I don't know if it'll show up in the video or if it's just the way the sunlight is shining, but this one is a shortleaf pine, and as far as I, a noob pine observer, can see, it seems like the bark is a lot more gray. And also here's a cicada shell. I don't have my ruler, because I lost it, but there's that cicada shell. But this is a short leaf pine. It's extremely tall. Oh, and there's some needles right here. Okay, yeah, I guess they are really short. They're like only as long as my fingers. It's kind of hard to reach up there. But this bark is kind of gray brown. It has really deep furrows. I think that's how far my hand can go in. Like that. Really deep fissures. Um, not sure if any of the pine cones are from this. Hold on, let me zoom in up there. You can see the pine cones up there. And let's go look at... Let's see this one. Uh, assuming these are both different individuals. But you can see this tree seems like it has a lot more red noticeable to me. And the fissures aren't as deep, assuming it's not just individual variation, but it seems flakier too. Oh, uh, yeah, so I can just flake it off. So, not very deep. Uh, I think they said the pine cones are mostly from this one. Let me. Here's a pine cone next to my shoe. They're there's a bunch of giant pine cones. And then, this is the long leaf pine tree and the needle. It's like as long as my forearm, so I have the tip at my fingertips, and then it go it would go all the way to like my elbow if it weren't curved. So long leaf compared to the short leaf, which is like only as long as my finger. So that's easy at least. Uh, and there's a skinnier one here, which I assume is yeah. You can see the needles; they're really long. Okay. And then I guess if you look up there, yeah, those ones are easily shorter. So that's easy, at least. All right. Also, you can see all the, the green things popping up. Almost all of them are pawpaw suckers from their pawpaws here. So here's another one. Has, once again, super long needles. So I'm guessing most of these are the long leaf one. Get the brightness up so you can see the colors. So now I know how to identify at least two pine trees in Georgia, so that's cool. I don't remember if they said the pine cones are from the longleaf or maybe they're from both, but it's a bunch of big ones. There's actually pine cones a lot even bigger than this one, like, like this one here. as big as my whole ship. They're just everywhere. Hmm. Okay. So, let's see if it's...
Well, this one looks like it has something on it. Maybe. Okay, yeah, I can definitely see a difference in the branches, because that, well, aside from the height, that one's just a lot more dense. Okay. Cool. So we're gonna look at, here's these two here. So I don't know if this is a different species. We'll look at this one too. And they, not all of these pine needles are from here. They get them as mulch in like bales, like hay from somewhere. The squirrels have been busy at this tree. Look at all the... All the shed pine scales. It's from squirrels eating the nuts. So, interesting. But this one, it might just be because it's younger, but it's got like almost completely gray bark with not very deep fissures at all. Kind of standing in the way. There's how big that is. Pine cones are nice size. Here's that one compared to my shoe. And here's some up in the tree. Here's where the needles are connected. I assume that's helpful. So I don't know if this tree just looks different because it's younger or if it's just a different species. But they do have an, a garden here, so some of these might be planted, but I'm not sure. But this has got a ton of pine cones up in the trees. And squirrels eat them. Here, let's carry this pine cone over and compare it to the other ones. Here's one of the needles. Not that it's showing up well. That's one from over there, and this is one from over here. I've got mosquitoes flying around my face now. But okay, anyways, that's it for this video. I'll make another video for the pawpaw, that'll be separate. Alright, bye bye